And the road to the Final Four continues across the river, the lights of Broadway. From Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons to Newark and the Final Four Dreams. Hold on to that thought because the Wildcats and the Buckeyes, they're thinking about it. And the winner will move on to an appearance Sunday night for the right to go to the Final Four, taking on North Carolina in the regional final. Seven from three against George Mason. Bounce passes inside. What a block by Jones. Came and from behind, Jim. Yeah. Broke contact and came from behind. With the chance to pick up a second early foul, but makes a clean play here, and then ball goes out of bounds. So back to the Buckeye. Over to Harrison. He waited and was rewarded. Beautifully done. Excellent execution by Brandon Knight. Pass in tight quarters, we call the pocket pass, and well executed. Summinger and Harrelson ties him up at the other end, and Kentucky. Defender, but he doesn't have great lift. So if you hold your position, and Harrelson is about 260 himself, he's able to hold his position. You see how low Jared was when he tried to attempt that shot? Look how low he is, and it makes... This is customary craft at about the four-minute mark in for Lauderdale, and Kentucky... Back to him, and he waits again. Boy, has this kid developed into a player. 88 minutes. Jersey and chase him off the line. Otherwise, he'll hurt you. Miller. And he bangs one right back for the one. Before Calipari says, we got to get him back out there. And now Liggins, baseline jumper, yes. Nicely done. One of the ways you can try to work on Jared Sullivan. And Liggins splits defenders, and he's got... Now two baskets, four points off the bench. That first three by three foot area of your guy with the ball. Miller follows it up and he's got seven of Kentucky's 15. Got him on you. Not at all. Knight though, trying to beat him, man he does. Brandon Knight, his first points of the game. You first touch shot, all Kentucky underneath. Here's Harrelson, and Kentucky with that basket takes though. Kentucky and Ohio State in the tank win as Harrelson puts it high off the glass. And it's coming up after the timeout. A good one here in Newark. First half. Your execution. Wiggins picked up on the baseline. Miller and Harrelson. A couple of bodies down on the floor. It's enough to cause the miss. And here comes Darius Miller. Now we've got a little bit of a track meet going. Oh, man, was that thrown with a little bit of velocity. And it's off Jared Sollinger. And Jared didn't like it, but nothing uh, off throw. But Harrelson. I've he... never seen one. <laughs> well, he put some zip on it, Jim. That much. He, got, he got bumped. He thought he had gotten bumped, I think. Here comes that pick and roll involving Harrison. And there's Jones. Well, that's well done. They space the floor. Get the defense to rotate after the pick and roll. Think about Strickland's experience and knowledge helping those young guys develop. Oh, and Kentucky with the lob job of its own. How about Harrison? How about his 12 total? Deep will almost put it up. Now weaves his way through and Harrison blocks it. Well executed. Nice job by Darius Miller. He saw that he had Sullinger in between. And it... The five Wildcats with two fouls. This is one of them. Jones and gets the good bounce off the back of the rim. Jones in that. Crap. Blocked by Harrelson. It's Knight kicking it outside. Nice rotation. Here's Lamb with a three. Yes. Deron Lamb, freshman from Queens, New York. Liggins, and one. Wow. What a shot. Little banana cut by Kentucky. Well, I tell you, Kentucky's defense for the first seven minutes of this half without fouling has been superb. Has been superb, Jim. So ran wrapped tight. Nothing easy for Ohio State other than a couple of open threes, and we got jaw jacking. Yeah, it's it's Buford and Liggins. Jaw jacking going on. Good job by the officials here. And a few wrist slaps exchange. 
warnings deserve. They're just having some unfortunate bounces there. That's a shot he likes. He likes this one, too. That's Lamb. Yeah, Lamb likes that transition three, Jim. Space floor is open now. This is where Liggins will try to drive it. Yep. Goes up instead and bangs home. Position for Sullender. Harrelson would like to see him catch it a step or two outside of that. Next jump. Able to shake off the defender. Back he fell. Bounce pass to Harrelson. And a foul against Kentucky. Called on Crab. Excellent. Nice job by Liggins. He's been all over the last few possessions for Kentucky. Watch him hesitate here. That one little extra hesitation on the... Here's Sullinger now. It's on the floor, and that's traveling. Jared not wanting to give the ball up. He doesn't want to give it to the official either. Here's Liggins. Outside three, yes. Knight. Smothering Miller comes back over to Liggins. Five to shoot, driving in. And the call on Ohio State on Sullinger. Two shots for Liggins. And it was the tenth team foul on Ohio State. Well, it's been tense in here, Jim. Oh, man. The air is thick. Yes, very much so. State. Now the Buckeyes have to defend without fouling. And Liggins, who's been so good all game long, goes to work again. Puts him up three. Kraft tried to draw the charge, you hit the deck. You don't need a three. Bad Mata going to call a timeout now. Timeout, Ohio State. So I think Ohio State has to go fairly quickly driving it to the goal or passing it into the low post. Trying to get near the collision as Diebler tries to shake free. Yeah, he was trying to get outside and here he goes. For the tie and he does it! The senior Diebler, the sharpshooter, ties it with 21 seconds. Well, Jim, there was no question about it. They were looking for the three and that's kind of the gunslinger mentality of Thad Mata. Kentucky with 15 seconds. They should go for the last one at about eight seconds, so they have seven or eight seconds. It's in Knight's hand. He Boy. beat Princeton at the gun. Here he shoots. Yes! With five seconds. Ohio State racing up the floor. Their season on the line. Buford for the win. No! And Kentucky pulls off the monster upset. Wildcats take out the number one overall seed of the tournament.